That pounding assault of tornadoes in the heartland tonight. In North Texas, families looked out the window and saw this. By one count, at least 12 twisters. And tonight, the aftermath, a kind of moonscape where their homes once stood. The center of some homes simply vanished. Six people killed a community in shock. And ABC's Steve Osinsame is there with their story tonight. Steve. Good evening, Diane. A small army of volunteers just a few minutes ago helped the family that lived here move what's left of their home to the curb. It was all destroyed in just a few moments. Oh my gosh. The latest pictures from those massive and deadly tornadoes that tore through Texas are both frightening and amazing. Oh my God. Look at this right above us. The pounding giant hail. Look at that. Nature's warning for tornadoes. Look at, look at. That's the biggest I've ever seen, man. We have casualties and severe injuries. We have multiple houses that are no longer there. Police searching door to door, burning up the radio. We're going to need as many units as we can. We're going to have to search and rescue. Families were trapped in their homes. Six people were killed. 70 survivors sent to hospitals. There's a young girl. Apparently she was sucked out of her house. It's crazy. When the sun rose this morning and she looked around. It's amazing that, you know, we want her or, or kill. Lisa Montgomery said a prayer of thanks. The tornado tore her home to pieces, but she and her grandson hid in a bathroom and made it out alive. The um, door, like, just like shaking, 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 shaking really bad. Granbury, Texas suffered the most. A subdivision of homes, many of them built for the poor by volunteers, were wiped out by the twister. Investigators say it was an EF4 with wind speeds nearly 200 miles an hour. In Cleburne, 23 miles southeast, we heard from the National Weather Service, who thinks there may have been two tornadoes here, the most vicious an EF3 with wind speeds up to 150 miles an hour. It almost missed the city, then changed its mind. When it got just south of the city, it turned to the left and headed north towards the uh, city of Cleburne. Ben Poledna and his family were in the way. I'm still kind of shocked. They lost everything. The utility companies are here. The power companies are here getting the lights turned back on. The recovery starts now, but it's not over yet. There are still watches and warnings in Louisiana tonight.